What's good YouTube? Target here and welcome to another episode of City of Garden Scenario. In the last episode we have developed the road layout for our high density zoning and today I think we're gonna start making some uh, zones there and probably develop that area a little bit further. So let's get down to business, shall we? Okay, so the first thing I wanna do before zoning anything yet uh, is analyze our road layout a little bit and I, I can already predict that this segment of road is going to cause some traffic issues because it's connecting the uh, high density areas including commercial to the highway and also to our industry. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually develop this road a little bit better so that it has very little interchanges and uh, it connects to this area much more smoothly so I'm just gonna pause the simulation for now and I'm gonna start deleting these segments and I am gonna grab the avenue And I will connect it to around uh, this area. And how exactly am I going to do that? Well, you know what? Let me just delete this. And I think I'm going to turn this into a roundabout. So let's just make a guide over here. Let's go at about three units. I need to disable the road guidelines. Three units over here, three units over there, and also three units over here. Now let's develop the roundabout. Okay. And now we can finally connect this thing here, connect it there, and connect this to that segment over there. And now I can come at about this angle, and I want to make a straight, um, a very small elevation. And hopefully, we can turn this into a very smooth connection. Now I need to enable the road lines back again. And there we go. That is actually perfect. So all of these buildings are going to get completely de-zoned, de which is... Very natural. Let me design this little segment as well. And I think that messed up with our bus routes. So let's check it out. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, so this line will have to... Oh, I think it will adjust and the buses will come through this road. So let's just resume the simulation and see if that's what happens. Oh, I think I need to delete this stop. Okay, yeah, it's it's better now. Good. So, let's get away from that. And now that we have that situation uh, settled in, we can now start uh, zoning some houses. But before that, I need to develop a district that will cover this entire area. So, let's... Um, zone that entire thing and there we go that will take some time on a side note how are you guys how was your weekend oh is that so that's good man that's good oh my weekend it was very good indeed thanks for asking 
Actually, I don't know because I'm recording this on a Saturday morning and weekends have still not passed for me. Okay, so the district is zoned in, so let's apply our regular specializations. I want the entire city to be very ecological. So there we go. And now we can start placing some zones. And I think I will want to put some residential at about this location. This central area will be offices. And this coastal area will be um, commercial. So yeah, let's let's work on that. Let's start drawing in some uh, residential. And I need to provide some power and water to this location. I cannot forget about that. So let's do that right away. Okay, so the entire area is now piped down and our newly built residential zoning is now developed. Very good. So let's keep adding some more residential to this location. So let's make some houses in here. Okay. And also in here or maybe let's first of all, let's see how many um, services we actually need to protect this area so fire seems to be covered pretty well education i think i will need another high school at around this location but uh before we place that let's actually place in some parks or no because we already have the playgrounds over there so yeah that's fine we're just gonna keep developing until we need those services, so let's work on that right away. And uh, yeah, I think this should also be residential. Like this, and I can put the game on 3 speed. That is good. And keep developing these new areas. And uh, I think we can already zone in some offices. And we can place them on this hill. So all of this is going to be a block for offices. And I think residential can come all the way up here. Good. And let's see what happens, shall we? By the way, we are getting on the edge with our water situation. So let's place another water tower. Okay. And power. Yeah, that's that's going to be an issue. So let me just pause the simulation for a bit and uh, provide yet another power plant because that's what our citizens need. It's power. I'm going to put one over here while we still do not develop our ecological power system all of those dirty power plants will soon be replaced let's keep going with that and uh, oh i just realized that the reason there was no power is because this isn't connected but uh, anyway now we have an additional power plant so let's not worry about that and i can just draw in a power line uh, from here to here. Good. Let's keep going. And yeah, look at this. Look at the amount of traffic flowing in. That's what I was talking about. But hopefully that won't turn out to be much of a problem. Hopefully. If so, I will have to rethink this entire layout. But for now, I think that's gonna be fine. And uh, with this, we can now start placing our first commercial blocks. And I want this area to be commercial, so let's go ahead and start placing some buildings.
Ah, interesting. So the high density organic buildings are low density, I believe. Yeah, that's that's what it seems like. But okay then. I thought it was going to be much more interesting, but apparently not. Because these buildings are the exact same ones as the low density ones. But okay, whatever. That's what we have. So that's what we will roll with. And whoa, what a second. Wait a second, here we go. We need some water to this location. Good. And now we can continue expanding this area because we have a lot of demand for um, residential. So yeah, let's keep expanding with that zoning. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay, so let's just pause the simulation and try to address this as quickly and efficiently as possible. I think what we can do is actually place traffic lines all over here. And this is probably not going to be a good idea, but let's check it out and see what happens. Okay, yeah, this, this is a very bad idea. So let's just rework this out and take away the traffic lights and one way that we can address this issue is actually providing a faster way from for this area of the downtown to go to the highway and also to the industry and that's gonna take a lot of work because I think the only way we can do this is with tunnels with the layout already developed so what I'm going to do is actually make a highway, a two-way highway that will connect over here. Let's try do, to do this. Why is it not snapping? Oh, that's because it's an highway and highways do not snap. Okay, here we go. Let's convert it to a highway. And let's try to make it with two lanes. Maybe that's all we'll need, but we'll check it out. This might be a long shot, but I don't know. I think at this point we need to try it out. Because, um, yeah, that's the only way we're going to get some development. So I am going to do a ramp over here and connect it to this highway and make another one at about the same location let's make sure it is aligned like this good okay so now what we think we're gonna do is um, try to connect these two roads to a roundabout that will take citizens to our high density zonings so this is five units this is six actually not we need to disable the guidelines six units good and here we can make a small roundabout like this like this and like this good and we can now try to uh, connect these things and hopefully we will be able to do this properly. Let's enable the guidelines back again even though they are not doing anything. But uh, oh it seems that we cannot make any sort of connection. Oh and yeah I think that's gonna be it. That's our only option. Even though it doesn't look that good, but uh, well, if this works, we can remake this entire thing, so no problem with that. Let me just change the direction of the roads and let's upgrade this as well. And is this right? Yeah, it is. That's how it's supposed to be. And now we can grab the 2 hay highway 
and come at about okay this doesn't snap so let's start off with this one come about here make a ramp downwards and make another roundabout over here good and now that we have it we can now connect it with the tunnel let's go back down oh this i didn't think this through yeah we need to where is the ramp by the way it's here so let's try and come um, at about this angle okay let's make a very big curve like this and let's keep going until we meet to our um, to our identity area like this and now hopefully we can connect everything and make a very smooth curve and yeah this is it and now we need to upgrade it let's upgrade everything until the roundabout uh, what's going on i think i'm upgrading the wrong roads yes i am i cannot forget to go um on overtop and fix the mistakes i've done Okay, so now the entire underground area is fixed. Let's see what's the damage. Okay, I've accidentally upgraded this road and that's a mistake. We need to upgrade it back and I think there was another one that I mistakenly upgraded. But I cannot seem to find it. That's fine, okay. And uh, now that we have it, we should upgrade this to another a one-way highway where is it and i think this can be two lanes don't you guys think let's try it out okay and here as well and we can make a curve like this okay so we need to check out if this works and also i think i'm gonna add another connection to here and of course the game doesn't let me do it as usual so let's just force the game to let me do what I want and no I don't think this is it this is it good and now we can upgrade this road to an highway access as well now is this gonna work i don't know guys let's let's see let's check it out and hopefully people will actually start using this connection instead of this one but i'm afraid this might be um, too far away for them to consider them this might be too far away for them to consider a valid option, even though they're already using it. Okay, so let's see if trucks prefer to use this connection instead of that one. Okay, I messed up on this area. I meant it to be a two-way, a one-way, sorry, highway, just like a normal roundabout, but with two lanes. Yeah, this is what I want to do. So let's go back to this area and, um, uh, well, what do we have here? It seems that it worked, uh, even though there's not many trucks using this, um, this new area. But the amount of trucks actually using this interchange um, got a bit better, so I think we just need to keep our eyes on this connection and see how it evolves in the future, as I place in some more buildings. Actually guys, this was really stupid. There's actually a 
better way to solve this, which is by going to the policies of this district, because this district catches this road. So I'm gonna come on the policies and I'm gonna try out um, where is it? Uh, heavy traffic ban. So no trucks are allowed to come on this road and they will be forced to use the new connection that I've made. So let's check it out and see if it works. Well, actually we cannot confirm if it works or not because we have very little commercial buildings in here. So we'll just have to zone a bit more of these commercial uh, things and we'll have to check out how it develops. Okay, so let's uh, zone a few more buildings. I want to zone all of this with residential. We also have some demand for industry, so I'm going to zone all of these things as offices and I'm going to keep expanding our commercial area to this side and I'm going to do it uh, like this. Okay, zone that entire thing and maybe we can also place a bit of of forestry industry. Uh, it seems that we have lack of workers now, so what I think I'm gonna do in the future is make a residential district that has um, schools out. That's a policy that prevents citizens to educate themselves and that will force them to work on uh, this, um, this district. But that's a project for another episode. Let's come back to this area. And uh, let's see how it develops. Oh, check it out, guys. We reached a next milestone. 16,000 residents. We can now unlock a new area that is very good indeed. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a like. It really helps out my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to follow the development of this city. And finally, if you want to connect with me on social media, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have fun.